So let's start on our back. Lie all the way down. And the first one is a knee drop. Here I want you to keep your legs glued together. Arms are just resting down by your side. And from here, keep the ankles together as you sway the knees over to your right. You're gonna feel a nice pull across the side of your back here and your um, hip. It feels really good, especially after a lot of hip work. And then you come back to center. So notice again, my ankles are touching. You wanna keep that foot lifted here. My right foot is lifted as you're tilting over, stretching across the side and then back to center. And again, stretching over to the right, reaching, extending through that knee and thigh, and then back to center, and tilt over, reaching, and back to center. So now we just open the feet a little bit wider than our hips, extend the arms now out to a T, and from here, drop the knees completely over to the side. This now focuses more on the quadricep and hip flexor versus the back. This is a great stretch for those thighs all the way up from the quads to the hip flexor. And over now to the left, stretching, reaching. You can actually kind of push the hip forward just a little bit, feel that stretch even more. And back to center and stretch over to the right, reaching and back to center. And over to the left, reach and back to center. Now we're gonna do the hip massage. You wanna extend your left leg back to the floor and bring your right knee and hug it in towards your chest. So from here, you kind of just roam around in the hip socket just a little bit and that'll kind of help loosen up the hip and just massage it there. Get a nice feeling in the hip so it can relax after all the movements there. And then rest it down, take your left knee in and again, just rotate around. You can go both directions, rotating in one direction here and circling in the other direction. And give it one more chance here to pull in, relax it. It'll let that muscle in the hip flexor rest. If you can kind of pull bending the elbows. And then again, just a few circles in each direction is good. Counterclockwise and clockwise. Hug it in and rest, and then the left side, pull it in, nice and tight, bending at the elbows, and circle both directions, and rest it there. And now from here, we're gonna turn over all the way to a child's pose. You wanna bring yourself up onto your hands and knees, and then simply set your hips back down on your heels. Arms are stretched out in front, and you relax your forehead down on the mat. You have a nice long spine here and just relax in that position, taking some deep breaths in and out. And one more breath, deep breath in and exhale. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also click that subscribe button. So that way you are notified every time I post a video. Remember on this channel, I am here to help you with movement and mindset and also makeup tips to help build your confidence. So I hope you click that subscribe button, make sure to click it, and I will see you in my next video.